Hi, and welcome to another DCG tutorial. I'm PJ McTavish, and today we're going to do a geologic geometry question. So this is the 2014 paper, section C, question C1. As always, read through it and see what they're giving you. So C1, part A. An accompanying map located at the back, of, back page of section A shows ground contours at 5 meter vertical intervals on a proposed golf course. So they're 5 meter intervals, so just highlight it. ABC is the central line of a proposed fairway, and O is the center of a circular curve which forms Putton Green. The fairway ABC and Putton Green have the following specifications. So the section of the fairway between A and B is level at altitude. So if it's level, and it's all at 75 mil altitude, or 75 meters. The Putton Green is also level at an altitude of 75 meters. The section of the fairway from B to C has a gradient of 1 is to 20 rising. Using side slopes of 1 is to 1 for cuttings and 1 is to 1.5 for the embankments, complete the earthworks necessary to accommodate the putting green and the fairway on the northern side. Note the earthworks of the southern side has already been completed. So this is the pages on the back of section A. And there you can see we see our green here, circular green, center O. We can see our fairway then ABC and O, A and B are all level at 75 meters altitude and then B to C is rising. So if you look at the details there, just before we get started. Uh, side slopes 1 is 1 for cutting, so if you have the cut, you're using 1 is to 1. So if they're 5, mil, uh, five meter intervals, that means it's going to be 5 mil for your intervals for the cuts and 1 is to 1.5 for embankment, so for fill. So if you have the fill, if you rise up to the level, that means it'll be 7.5, okay? 7.5 mil. So let's start off with the left-hand side here. We'll start off with our green. So let's look at the level. So oh, all this green here should be at 75. So let's write that in. So the circular path of O is at 75 meters. A is at 75 meters and B is at 75 meters. And as you can see from the earthworks here, B is actually on 75 meter contour. So that is going to give us a point on the road here in our earthworks. Now let's have a look at our contours here. So we have a 70, 65, 60, 55, 50, 55, and 60, 65, 70. So all this length of the earthworks is going to be fill because we need to fill up as far as the green and also the road. So first things first, if it's a fill, then our lines have to be 7.5 mil apart. So I'm just going to draw a straight line up here just so I can mark up uh, the 7.5 intervals. So mark 7.5. I'm just going to get down the compass and mark it in again. So every 5 mil, or every 7.5 you go out here for the, uh, for the fill, means you're going down 5 mil. So if our fairway, or sorry, our green here is at 75 meters, then our first mark here will be an arc for 70 meters. Our next mark will be an arc for 65, 60, 55, and so on. So the compass at O and string around your arcs. Now we might need another one yet. So if this is 75, then this one here is 70. So did it hit the 70 contour there? No. And it doesn't hit the 71 here, so we'll move on. This is 65, so that's your 65 contour there, so that's giving you 
mark on the contour follow it over will it hit the 65 on this side it does that's a mark on the roadworks or earthworks next one is 60 which is here and here's up next one then is 55 so that's a mark here and a mark here so we do need an extra line there because of our 50 okay so again that's another 7.5 mil because remember fill is 1 is 1.5 so every 5 meters you go down in altitude you need to draw contour of 7.5 mil so that was our 55 so this next one is our 50 which is here and it cuts here as well and we have no other contour then so we're going to keep this all light for the time being all right because as you can see here there's an intersection between the straight section of the fairway and the curved section of the green so let's draw in those contours okay so that is the first section now you might not be able to see see it too well there but i'm just joining up my blue points there as best as i can freehand we'll go over it strong now in a minute once we find out where our fairway section is going to go so now let's focus on from a to b okay so a is in between the 50, uh, 60 and the 65 and 70 and then our 75 is around here so that again would be a point on the road and our 75 because remember the road is at 75 minutes you can see here look every 75 contour it's going to be point on the road because that's the altitude it's at so from a to this point here we need more fill because it's going from 55 60 65 so if it's fill the ratio is 1 is 1.5 that means 75 millimeters 75 on a mil, sorry 7.5 mil so. mark up 7.5 and then 15 then draw those across parallel to the road so again each one represents a drop of 5 mil so or 5 meters so if this edge of the fairway is 75 mil sorry 75 meters in altitude then the first line is going to be on the 70. So let's find our 70 contour, and this is point here. Next one is going to be on 65, which is here. And the next one is going to be on 60, which is right here, close enough to where the earthworks from the fairway is. So if I draw those in freehand lightly. Now that's giving me the earthworks for the fill here and then the fill around the fairway so I'm just going to draw that in strong now so that it stands out for you on the page now we're just going to finish off from A to B before we uh, move on from B to C and also to find a little tangential line between the two here so now this is our 75 contour so the road's at 75 and B should be at 75. The next few contours are rising. So next contour here is 80, 85, 90 and 90, 85, 80 and 75. So if the ground is higher than the actual level of the road, or the fairway in this case, it needs to be cut. And as you see from the question, cuts are one is to one. So that means every five millimeter, five millimeter line you draw from the fairway, it gives you a drop of five meters. So we have, or it gives you a rise in this case, or a cut. So we have one, two, three. Let's go three five mils and see what we get on. So this now is every five millimeters because it's a cut rather than a fill. So five mil, five mil, five mil, and five mil. So draw them parallel.
Okay, so we're at 75. So the first 5 meter line should be on the 80 contour. So we'll find the 80 contour. And that's our first 5 on here. Do we have another 80? We do over here. So that's another 5. Or another mark. Next is 85. So that will be on our second line here. And do we have another 85? We do. Next one would be 90. So find the 90 contour. And it's the next line there. And here. And we don't have a 95. So that gives us the earthworks there. So every 5 millimeter line we drew parallel to the road gave us a 5 millimeter rise. So the cut will follow along like so. And that now can be drawn in strong. Okay. So we had fill here and then cut there. Now before we continue on with our rising from B to C, I want to just put in the intersection between the two fills here. So as you can see here, we have a fill around the curve and a fill around the road, and then where they intersect is shown there. So the find where they intersect, you just have to extend your cuts along or curves along from the circle to the parallel lines from the fairway. So in first five meters down is going to be here. So that's following my 7.5 mil line from O and my 7.5 mil parallel line from AB. Next one here, that's the second one, that's the second line. Third and third will meet up there. And that's all that's to it. Join them in freehand lightly. Hang it over against strong. So it's point basically contour going from A back to where they join but to find the point you have to extend those cuts you put in now next section let's read through that last part again so the section of the fairway from B to C is, has a gradient of 1 is to 20 uh, 1 is to 20 mil rising so if I just work on clear piece of the paper here, hope you can still see that. So it's 1 is to 20 rising, okay. So what that means is every 20, milli uh, 20 meters that you travel along the road, the road rises up 1 meter. Alright, so we could mark along our road 20 meters and know that you've gone up 1. That's not much use to us. What we need is to uh, extend that up so that we or scale it up so that we have a 5 meter rise. So if we scale it up, if we move along 100 meters, you will have risen 5 meters. Okay, so that we, that's what we can mark out on our road here. So if we measure in 100 mil here, we know that the road has risen 5 meters. To measure over 100 mil. Let's draw that in with red again. So this is 100 mil over, which means that our road has now risen from 75 up to 80. So this is 80. 80 meters. Okay. Once you've done that, let's have a look at the contours around that point. So around here is 80 meters. So the road, or the contours of the land is dropping. So the contour goes 70, 65, 60, and then that's our 55. Let's have a look, yeah, 55. 55, 60, 65, 17, 75. So if we are rising and if the road is rising but the land is falling then it's fill okay so when you're using side slopes for the embankments for the fill which we have to do here it's 1 is 1.5 so we have risen 5 meters that means I can draw an arc of 7.5 and that will show me that will show me a drop in 5 meters and that's what I can use for my cone so get 7.5 mil on your compass. 
So it is a fill, which means our contours have to be 7.5 mil apart. And we have risen 5 meters, so that means I can draw a cone or an arc of 7.5 mil. Okay, so that is an arc of 7.5 mil. If I draw a tangent line to that arc from point B here, I'm just gonna put these in with markers that stand out. So now these tangent lines, these contours, they're going to give us our fill, our points on the contours for the section from B to C. So that's our first one. So we have now dropped the first five mil, or five meters, I should say. So now we need to measure up 7.5 from these because all fill and mark in a few of them parallel. So, this is our first contour, from that's representing the 75, okay, so the 75 would hit out there somewhere. Next drop down then is 70, because every five minutes this is the 70 contour, so that's our 70 one here, so that's where they meet. You can see there's a meet the 70 over here, just about off the page there. Next one is 65, so follow the 65 in your second line here, do the 65 there. So on this line here. Next would be 60. So follow the 60 over here. And the next one then would be 55, which we have here and here. So there you can all join in freehand lightly now and then go over. Okay, so that is part A of the question done. We've marked in the earthworks on the northern side of the fairway and the green for the section from O, A, B, and C. Now, this is the question. This isn't the question I do too often, so I hope the explanations were as good as they should be. I'm going to have to leave this one here, and I'll do parts B and C in the next video. Okay, thank you, and good luck.